Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I've been looking over the graphs from the EPA for the last few days, and I wanted to share with you the, uh, the cities of concern that were at or above uh, what is considered dangerous levels in counts per minute. Uh, Spokane, Washington, San Bernardino, California, Phoenix, Arizona, where the levels were 600 counts per minute or above, Los Angeles, Denver, Reno, Nevada, Idaho Falls, Mason City, Iowa, Des Moines, Iowa, St. Paul, Minnesota, Lincoln, Nebraska, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Knoxville, Tennessee, very high gamma readings in Knoxville. Gamma radiation is the type that goes through everything. And Amarillo, Texas was uh, at 800 counts per minute. This is what the jet stream has been doing um, over this period of time from the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. I'll go through this slowly. And as you can see, the jet stream is corresponding to all of those areas. Now there's some uh, strange stuff going on in Japan. I had reported uh, two days ago about a new hole in Reactor 2. It appears now from the video, uh, and this is from yesterday, I believe, that the uh, wall of Reactor 2 has collapsed or there's been some type of explosive event. The area that I was concentrating on before was right here. I thought that this was part of the... Um, the four station in the area, but no, this is a hole in the side of the reactor, and this hole was not there previously on JNN cams. This is new. Um, there has been no release of information about uh, what caused this hole, and there are some videos on YouTube of this crane taking measurements, and the helicopters that are flying over are doing measurements of uh, radioactive releases in the air. Something else that was caught on cameras, and this is a new finding. Uh, I have not seen this before since March 11th. There is now purple flashes occurring over reactor 1 and 2. This may be associated with uh, the event that caused the collapse of the wall. And uh, TEPCO is being... Um, very misleading about what is actually going on at this time. They have reported through any news that there were criticalities. They had asked the Japanese government for help in determining what uh, some of these radioactive releases mean because they don't know. Um, and then they retracted that and said there weren't criticalities. However, that is not consistent what we're seeing. Uh, with the jet stream analysis and with the EPA graphs. And I'll put a link at the bottom so you can look at your city again. You know, we know the graphs have been tampered with. Um, half of the cities are not even showing up, but just trying to extrapolate information from not only the TEPCO cameras, uh, the new hole in reactor 2, the inconsistency about what's going on at the plant, and um, jet stream fallout and, and individual readings across the country. Powder Blog is reporting that um, in St. Louis rainfall yesterday, he recorded 190 times background radiation off the rainfall in his car. And that's my dog drinking in the background. <laughs> So what do we have on tap for this weekend? This is the forecast, November 4th, 5th. You can see um, the jet stream is covering a large portion of the country, dipping low through Tucson and Texas, where these very high readings have been recorded. And keep your eye on this right here. November 8th, and I want to show you uh, what the NOAA rainfall forecast is indicating the highest levels of precip precipitation in this area. This will 
correspond to the jet stream. Anyone who lives in this area, especially here, if you know anyone who is pregnant or has young children, I would strongly encourage them to avoid going outside this weekend. Um, you're safer in your house because even when you're driving through rain, the radiation is still coming in through your car. Uh, so keep that in mind. And I want to also post my um, page on Facebook that I recently started where I'm updating uh, links, news articles, individual uh, Geiger counter readings from around the country, research papers. I put ten, about 10 articles uh, a day on here lately. There's been so much news, it's really hard to keep up with. So this is what's going on now. If you're in these rainy areas, please stay safe, and I will update you with more information as it becomes available. Thanks.